this is Ravi Shankar. I am the Chief Marketing Officer for Dinodo. I have been with Dinodo for three years now. I am very happy to be here talking about our newest release, Dinodo 7.0. Dinodo has been in the business since 1999. The company was originally founded in Spain and it relocated to the United States in 2005. We are backed by a four billion dollar plus private equity firm. So there are two messages that I want to cover in my presentation before I turn it over to my teammates. One, I want to talk about data virtualization as a market within the data integration space, and I want to send the message that this market is gaining a lot of momentum. And the second one is that we have been very successful in this market, and we are going beyond it. Even though data virtualization is the technology or the screwdriver that we might use, we are moving very much beyond the data integration into the data management with a lot of the capabilities that we introduced in 6.0 and new capabilities that are coming out in 7.0. Data virtualization. Is accelerating as the dominant data integration style, especially in terms of new technologies that are coming about, more so in the IoT and with the edge computing space, where the volume of data is just so huge, it doesn't make sense to collect all of them into a single central repository. We are seeing a large adoption across the globe for data virtualization into a lot of different use cases. And if you step back and ask the question why data virtualization is gaining prominence against other data integration styles, it's very easy to see the key benefits that come across. If you ask anybody, if you were to describe an adjective for data virtualization, they would say flexibility is a single word that they would use. It is a data abstraction layer over and above the immense data sources that you might have within your ecosystem or your technology landscape. giving you the flexibility to make the changes underneath without disrupting the business at the top it doesn't actually store the data it doesn't replicate the data unlike uh, etl and other technologies so it is a real time pass through from the source to the destination and also it stores a lot of metadata and we are exploiting the metadata to provide a lot of data cataloging and this glossary kind of functions to the business users we have innovated in this area quite a bit and we see ourselves as the leader pushing the boundaries of what data virtualization can do two years back i stood before you and i unveiled sitgato i talked about how sitgato was a revolutionary platform because there was a transition that was happening from the data federation to the data virtualization and we innovated quite a bit in terms of being the first company to introduce the dynamic query optimizer where as at that time very many companies did not have the performance the query optimization or they had a static way of optimizing the query so we were the first to innovate in that particular area that was the first time we actually introduced our product on AWS now we have it on Azure and other platforms as well today we will be showing the further acceleration into 7.0 and how we are exploiting some of the latest technologies from a performance perspective from a cloud perspective and also uh, moving more into the data management space with our data catalog capability hello everyone i am uh, lakshmi randall director of product marketing for denado i am here to primarily cover the denado 7.0 messaging So what is the role of data virtualization in addressing these challenges? So I'm representing Denado 7.0 using these five different pillars that are very crucial to next generation data management. First and foremost is uh, unparalleled performance. It's combining that dynamic query optimization with parallel processing capabilities. So the second pillar is what we call a dynamic data catalog. we tremendously improve the functionality to add categorization of data tagging and annotation basically improving the documentation of the data and the ability to explore the data and also manage control over who can access not only data but also metadata and the third pillar is support for both IT and business persona so we provide three different interfaces to support different types of persona and the fourth pillar is automated life cycle management this is very important because more than 30% of seven final capabilities are addressed by this pillar and the last pillar here is multi location architecture ravi mentioned that denaro is available on aws and azure doc data marketplaces we are also available on docker and uh, you know pretty soon we will become available on google marketplace 
So the Nardo 7 plays a very critical role in simplifying complexity 